express is very very important characterization technique i know that there are a lot of video on this topic but i'm going to explain in a different way express is a surface analysis so i will be focusing on surface that why surface is important i will briefly explain the working principle behind xps i will also talk about why studying surface is important and finally i will compare surface with ultra thin film and thin film xps basically means x-ray photoelectron spectroscopy when we hear the word spectroscopy it means the absorbance of electromagnetic radiation electrons ions or neutrons similarly the emission of electromagnetic radiation electrons ions or neutrons here in xps we simply bombard shine x-ray on the sample and because of that x-ray energy photoelectron eject from the core of the atom and this is the famous equations we only interested in the kinetic energy of the photoelectrons and who are going to determine to get to calculate the kinetic energy of the photoelectron the xps detector so once we have the kinetic energy of the photoelectrons so we can easily calculate the binding energy for the elements because this is the x-ray photon energy which is known this is the work function of the spectrometer which, which, which has a constant value so once we have this x-ray in our hand so we can easily calculate the binding energy so once we calculate the binding energy so it reveals a lot of information about the elements which element exist and what that element is bounded with other element or other atoms because it talk about the chemical environment the oxidation state whether there is a shift chemical shift or not whether the element is making composite structure with the other or not so all these information we can extract from the binding energy so once we have the binding energy we can reveal we can extract all the information about the the the, 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 the atoms or the element exist at the surface or at the near surface now let's discuss the working principle behind xps in xps we simply shine x-ray on the sample surface and because of that x-ray the core electron eject and this we call photoelectrons this is basically called photoelectrons there is also xrf effect there is there is also oj electrons but i'm not going to explain this in this video this is because I am only interested in this photoelectron here. So once we have this photoelectron, so the XPS detector gives us the kinetic energy for that photoelectrons. And we know this H nib is a constant, which is the photon energy. And this is the spectrometer work function, which have a constant value. So we can easily calculate the binding energy. Why studying surface is important? Because we know that there are many characteristics of the surfaces such as the wettability wettability means that how the liquid behaves when attached to the solid surface the corrosion very important phenomena which occur on the surface similarly the adhesion this is basically the cohesive forces when you combine two surfaces what is the behavior of the surfaces charge transfer which is very very important phenomena and it occur on surface the top most is the catalysis which is the surface property so all these phenomena we can discuss we can explain and we can characterize using xps analysis what is surface if we take three atomic layer of any element three atomic layer so that is basically called a surface and this atom is very very small if we if we take the thickness of these three atomic layers so it will be approximately equal to one nanometer so this is basically the surface this is very 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 thin film if we take the three atomic layer of an element so that become a surface now similarly the ultra thin film is uh, up to 30 atomic layers this means ultra thin film is thicker than the surface and thin film is more thicker than the uh, 
uh, surface. But XPS basically, XPS uh, work on all these three area, but in most of the cases from uh, this thin film, we will have the background uh, uh, peaks, the background, uh, and from surface and from ultra thin film, uh, we will have the XPS peaks. Those will be the photoelectron peaks and the OJ peaks. So from surface in ultra thin film, we will get the XPS peaks or the, the, the photoelectron peaks or the OJ peaks, but from the thin film, uh, in most of the cases, we will get the, the background of the peaks. Finally, for understanding, let's clarify the surface ultra thin film and thin film form this diagram. So we can see that the top most is basically very, very, very thin film and it is basically surface. This means that the thickness of this layer is approximately one millimeter. If we look into the ultra thin film, so this is basically the ultra thin film. It is approximately up to 10 millimeter. So XPS, most of the cases, XPS work in this area. So 95% of the electrons we get from this area. But from the thin film, X-ray may be reached to uh, this uh, micro level here, because this is in micro, yeah, the X -ray, the penetration of the X-ray is, it can reach to the micro level, but from here, uh, there will be inelastic collisions and electron will lose all of energy uh, or hardly uh, it will uh, eject from the surface and that will make the background of the peaks, but not the photoelectron peaks plus the OJ peak. These two peaks will come from these two uh, surfaces, from the surface and from the ultra-thin film. 95% photoelectron we get from uh, this area.